Uh, question three, in the name of Deputy Stephen Donnelly. I call on the Minister. Thank you. Um, the National Strategy for Higher Education outlines a range of actions aimed at enhancing teaching and, and the learning experience of all students. Last November, uh, the Minister announced the uh, establishment of the National Forum for the Enhancement of Teaching and Learning, uh, which will provide a platform for progressing key actions such as the development of innovative pedagogies, uh, better support for first-year students and promoting academic professional development. Listening and responding to feedback from students and other stakeholders is also crucial in ensuring high-quality provision. The first national survey of employers was completed in December 2012 and a national student survey is currently being established, a pilot of which is now underway. Measures are also being taken to ensure a robust and effective quality assurance system. The Qualifications and Quality Assurance Educa Education and Training Act 2012 uh, established the Quality and Qualifications Ireland, QQI, uh, which has taken on responsibility for externally reviewing the quality assurance arrangements of universities. Learner involvement will be an important feature of future quality assurance processes. Thanks, Las Ken Corla. Thanks for your um, reply, Minister. Um, yeah, there are some there are some good things going on, but look, obviously the universities have two roles: research and training. And there's been an awful lot of focus, a very healthy focus, including by yourself, on research. We have the SFI bill going through the house at the moment. Um, I'm not seeing the same level of funding and um, focus, I guess, on the teaching. I think there's been some very welcome developments on the research side, focusing on outcomes, focusing on links to commercialization and so forth. And I welcome the moves that have occurred, but I guess, Minister, if you compare them to what's going on in the research area, um, they're still pretty small. Now, there are some promising initiatives around. Um, but some of the biggest challenges seem to come from working practices. So yes, pedagogy can, um, can improve, but it's, it's fairly well recognized, certainly in a lot of the, the, the universities, maybe not in them all, that teaching, being an excellent teacher does not get you promoted. You know, writing papers gets you, get, gets you promoted. Now UCD, I understand, is, is, has introduced a dual track, um, a dual track system. So, I welcome your answer, Minister. Can I ask you, I think an important step along this path is measuring the outcomes, is getting a, an agreed rigorous uh, database, set of data for measuring the outcomes, what universities are doing well, what departments, what individual professors are doing well, and so forth. Can I ask you, um, within what you've already outlined, or indeed are there plans for the future, that would create a data set which would allow us to look in detail at what professors, what departments, what universities, what colleges are doing particular, particularly well as a starting point for them to begin uh, learning from each other. So a systematic approach across the third level sector. Thank, Thank you. you. Minister? Okay, I, I, with respect, I hope I understand the question. Um, I, I, if, if the deputies express concerns about the focus on teaching, I, I don't quite follow what or, or where his underlying assumptions are that there are issues around teaching within the third level sector. Um, maybe I've missed something there. But there is a national strategy for higher education uh, on teaching. Um, the National Forum for the Enhancement of Teaching and Learning. It, you know, it was launched in November 2012. It's chaired by Professor Sarah Moore of UL. It will aim to consolidate and build upon the strengths of existing individual institutions uh, and, and their teaching and learning frameworks. Um, so it's underway. So I hope that answers one part of your question. It will provide a key system level infrastructure for the support of the uh, national strategy and it will serve as a platform for academic-led enhancement of teaching and learning and its focus will be on adding value by providing a structure through which these institutional and network initiatives can be synergized and leveraged. 
the forum held its first meeting in March, so this is quite nascent in that sense. Um, I think it's important to state, though, that each academic institution uh, has its own degree of autonomy. The deputy will appreciate that. And the deputy will appreciate that there is a higher education authority block grant, uh, which is one billion plus. Uh, it, my own view is that, you know, the national strategy and what it aims to do is will, will complement having a greater economic impact in terms of trying to create more jobs and enhance the learning experience because they're looking at, you know, teaching experience, uh, pedag pedagogies, innovative pedagogies with the technologies that support those pedagogies, which is quite innovative. The, the enhancement of the first year experience, whether or not you need to broaden out that first year experience for the, the student or, or should you retain a prescribed course. Thank you, uh, Mr. Paul and Deputy. Sorry. Can you give him a chance to yeah. ask Th a supplementary. Thanks, Mr. So the context of the question is this. I welcome what's going on. I think, it's, I think it's great that there is a renewed focus. I don't believe there's as much of a focus as there has been, for example, in your own area on the research where we have substantive pieces of legislation coming forward. So my context is this. I welcome the moves to date. I'm deeply concerned about teaching in our universities because we're looking at a 50% per student reduction in government funding between 08 and I think uh, 2015. Um, so they're, they're having to pull back an awful lot of teaching supports. So teaching within our universities is under threat. So my context is I'm very, very concerned. I welcome what's going on. I want to make sure that what's going on is as rigorous as possible and one of the first things that we could do and the, the supplemental question is is there going to be hard data where educational experts, the HSE, members of the Oireachtas can sit down and say you know what it turns out the Trinity's English department is phenomenal and UL's department of X really is struggling so that we can get some hard data around who's doing well because the danger of not having the data is we end up with some very well-meaning expressions and sentiments and projects that really avoid asking some of the hard questions and shining a light on some of the more difficult areas. So, Thank so you. that's it. Thank you. Final answer. Uh, the straight answer to the question in relation to mining data, there is already data available, uh, but how you measure a teaching, uh, that's, I was just going to say, how you measure a teaching outcome. Uh, from a quantitative or even qualitative point of view is, is, is quite a, a challenging thing to do because of the different academic uh, ethos that uh, you know, exists within all of the higher education institutes. But one way that you can try and ensure more efficient outcomes from a teaching point of view is, is you look at academic professional development and you look at the research then that supplements or that backs up that type of professional development. And the system is highly evolved at post-primary level and there should be a system at post-primary, at, at tertiary level also uh, so that, and, and it should be promoted because if you have greater academic professional development uh, then you create better teachers, you create more specialities and, and drive better outcomes. That is being looked at as part of the, the national forum and so the straight answer to your question at present is I'm quite literally, I'm not sure if we have that kind of data at present, we can check that for you, but there is certainly a drive to ensure that the points that you've raised in relation to ensuring that we have metrics and, and, and indices in relation to this, that there is a very clear focus around doing that.